Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Aston Martin Road to Glory. Today we're here for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, round number 9 of the season. If you haven't seen round 8 guys, go check it out, the Monaco Grand Prix, link in the top right. Trust me, it's worth it. It's a fun weekend and there's a lot of rain, so go watch it. Spoilers ahead. And yeah, we're going to get into today's episode. So guys, as you can see, we have an upgrade scheduled for the fourth for the Vortex Generators, which is on the aero side of things. First things first, though, is changing the ICE because we're struggling a little bit on where on a few components, but this one is the worst of the bunch. And this is a power circuit, so we're going to go ahead and get that replaced. I then went ahead and spent the R&D points that we have. We missed out on the roll dampers by six points, so I had to purchase the next one down, which is only a minor, but still we're going to get it on the car, hopefully before the next race in Canada. Confirmation that the upgrade for the aero did arrive, so that's going to give us a slight edge this weekend, a slight improvement. As for before the weekend's action, we had a marketing event and... I got given two incredibly tough and unfair options of picking in terms of who I want to be my rival. I chose Lewis because why not? It makes no difference. We're not going to beat any of them anyway. Russell seems to be stronger this year than Lewis, so we're just going to go with the safer option. For now, though, we're going to focus on the weekend. You can see we have no rain forecast. And as for the development graph, we saw that small upgrade arrive for the aero. And Alfa Romeo have actually just edged back ahead of us. But for the most part... That field spread is getting tighter and tighter. Ferrari, Mercedes bring a couple of big upgrades, but the field as a whole is getting much more compressed. Now then, with that done and out the way, we can now jump into practice. And this track is a funny one. I struggle here to be fast over one lap. We was quite slow last year. But the race was surprisingly good. Uh, we had really good race pace last season. That was with last year's car. So I'm hopeful that we can kind of repeat that this year. I'm not expecting miracles, you know, in a one lap situation, but for the race, it could be a good one for us. Anyway, we finished it and we had pretty damn high tire wear and also pretty damn high fuel consumption. So uh, we'll take that into effect for the race. We scored a pretty decent amount of R&D points and we'll look to spend those at the start of the next episode. And we also got a couple of discounts as always on other areas of the car. So yeah, updates done, you know, the, the news into the weekend done, upgrades also purchased for the next race. We're ready to go and it's time for qualifying. So Q1 is upon us. Let's get to it and let's see if my pace is decent or are we going to struggle? And as I predict, we might be a little bit up against it on the one lap pace. Here we go then, currently on my first push lap and to be fair, I've got to say, for, for a single flyer, normally I do two laps on my first run, two time laps, because I need that second one to really get the confidence up. I'm only going for one lap here because of tyres and time and to be fair, I'm actually really happy with this. This was a really, really good banker lap, no mistakes really, uh, just very smooth and very decent, pushing at a pretty high level. And up to the line, we're going to get our first reference time as we open the DRS. A 139.6. Okay, so last place out of those who have set a lap and eventually last overall by quite some margin. Lance Stroll currently on the cutoff and he's a full second quicker than us. So, um, yeah, I think you know what's going to happen here, but we'll give it a shot anyway and we will try to at least put together a decent lap. So, here we go. Getting things warmed up, getting the car ready. I've made small adjustments on the differential, but pretty much the car's unchanged. I also lowered my rear tire pressures from the previous run to this one to have a bit more rear traction, but that's it. So, turn one, brake just before the kerb, down to fourth gear, smooth on the power. There we have a slight bit of oversteer, but we still gain time. Brake just before the 50 for turn two, avoid the inside kerb, use all the runoff, and smoothly get on the power as you open the DRS. Now I'll spot the 100 for turn 3, bring the car over to the right. Important to brake a bit earlier, turn in and then make sure you get the drive, so slow in fast out, which is the recipe for success around here, turn 4. Same thing again, slow in fast out and now we conclude sector 1 and make our way into 5 and 6. A little bit wide, they didn't quite get all of the apex, I wasn't right up against the wall, but we get a decent exit through 6 to be fair. Now down to 7, braking before the 50. You want to try and get a bit more inside curb than I've done there, but we still gained a little bit of time. Now into the castle, fourth gear, throw the car in, and then hold it in full through 
the next two corners on the power smoothly there on the exit as we again find a little bit of time throughout that section and now we look for this very tricky brake zone here so bring the car to the left side straight line brake and then fourth gear very important traction zone here down the hill as we find a load of time and now the last corner not too shabby to be fair went in a little bit earlier than i usually do because i suffer with understeer through there and we do actually find a bit of time and we're going to improve by over half a second the question is will this even move us off the bottom because we was four tenths off bottas you know on that previous run so depending on how much he's improved and others around him we'll know exactly where we are wow Poof. that is um that's painful that's a long 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 way away to be fair you know i mentioned before the field spread and if you kind of take us out of the equation it's a very close grid the pace is very very similar pretty much with everyone however seven tenths off our teammate and three tenths off the next car it's not really ideal and especially after getting q3 the last time in monaco albeit in wet conditions this wasn't the session that i had in mind so yeah work to be done in the race but then again like i said in the intro we struggled here last year so i don't see why we can't fight in the race good afternoon and welcome from baku this was the arena if you think back to 2017 and one of the most eventful races of modern history with controversy behind the safety car last second overtakes and a historic podium for williams and lance stroll let's find out what lies in store for us this year it's time for the azerbaijan grand prix with 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles baku city circuit in the heart of the azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance patience and precision 90 degree corners through sector one leading to a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line before we begin let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race fantastic effort from charles leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole a very happy carlos signs will start second as we continue through the rest of the grid today we have hamilton russell Max Verstappen and Perez. Ricardo, Ocon. Magnussen and Pierre Gasly. Mick Schumacher, Latifi. Alex Albon and Vettel. Stroll, Sonoda. Lando Norris and Guan Yu Zhou. Bottas and Martinez. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Here we go then, time for the race at Baku, P20 and last place, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We've done it quite a few times this season where we've started last and somehow had a pretty insane race. I know the comments are going to be saying, why don't you take an engine penalty? I'll say it again, like a broken record, I keep things realistic. The game does not do a good job of representing the rules in formula one so you're not allowed anymore to stack up on engine components it's not allowed anymore you have to finish your pre-existing allocation first and then once you get into the penalized section you can start to mess around with it but you have to finish up the pre-allocated engine parts first anyway with that said race strategy for this one is going to be a medium to hard tire strategy simple one stop I think the pace is going to be there. I'm, I'm confident and I'm going to base it off last season. I think we've got a fast car. Fuel-wise, I'm going for a whole lap extra based off practice. I was a little bit concerned about how much fuel uh, we consumed. So we're going to go on the safer side and have no risk. As for the tyres, I've taken a bit of a gamble here though. And that is plus three front tyre pressure, plus six on the rear, which is a hell of a lot. But I'm also kind of planning for that hard tyre stint later on. So yeah, we just got to try and see if we can have a decent start to the race in the medium and then be active and be ready to kind of pounce during that pissed up phase and then hopefully cash in on that hard tyre at the end. So guys, prediction down below in the comments as always and let's get into it. Right, here we go. Line her up and get ready for the race start. Enter the outside as that is the better line. And let's get into it. Right, lights are on. Let's make a little bit of history here today. Lights out. We're accumulating somewhere on the MGUK. To manage this, we're going to need to lower our ERS deployment mode. Right. 
Bottas there, trying everything in his power to make multiple moves on the breaking and breaking every single rule in the book into turn one. Luckily, we avoid contact. That was a horrible exit out of turn two from us there. I was hoping to get way more of a switch back on him, but alas. Just trying to be careful because the AI can just out of nowhere kind of spring right or spring left and you can get caught out by it quite easily. So just trying to be mindful. Norris is going to be a fast car, so it could be someone that we could, you know, follow or stick with at some point. Norris is going to get the run here, so we'll try and cut back again. Absolutely no traction there, though. Uh, so, yeah, no progress, though, if I'm trying, but AI is seemingly pretty ready to square up in this one and uh, not give up track position, so... That's okay, that's all good, it's a long race. Well, that lap was a lot better, 1.2 seconds faster. I can tell that AI are now not running full power mode. They're a lot more raceable in terms of pace, so let's see if we can start to make a few things happen. Still waiting for Lando to really, you know, sink his teeth into Bottas. He's been a bit shy so far. First warning track limits there just a little bit too wide but I'm trying to put some pressure on Lando here I feel like I can try and force a move but I've got to get a good exit out of here which I'm struggling with this corner a little bit but that's the best exit I've had third gear seems to be the way to go right, let's see if we can try and put a move on here I'm not great on the brakes into turn one so we may just have to brake a little bit earlier There we go. We might actually get Bottas to be fair. He's got no DRS. <sighs> okay, no issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Luckily no damage, but the AI man sometimes they're so frustrating. Okay, a bit of a scrap. Up ahead. A very time consuming scrap as Albon gets overtaken there by Sonoda. He was also battling with Joe, but we've now basically all merged up in this lower end of the midfield, but we're a long way back now from the rest of the pack. This could have a knock on effect. Hmm, that exit let me down quite a lot. Still. Probably going to get a chance here. We're close enough. We'll have to use a lot of battery. Bottas also won't have DRS. Here we go. Using our straight line speed. Just about squeezing to the inside. And we're not going to challenge Valtteri. We'll just get Lando for now. Run him out of road. And that's one down. Divide and conquer. Bottas next up. A bit further back from Bottas, but we should still be able to get by. Valtteri doesn't have DRS on anyone in front, unlike Lando on the last lap. Just don't want to use all my battery if I can avoid it. I think we've got enough of a run here. I can get this one done with just a little bit of DRS. And there we go. Okay, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap. Box this lap. All right. Let's see what we can do. I might try and stay out a couple more laps to give myself a bit of an edge. Well, I've got myself in DRS range of Albon, which is great. And we've also dropped Bottas. Car should start to pit. I'm going to try and steer clear. I don't really want to be in the pit lane just yet. Also, these guys ain't pitting yet, so we'll go along with them and see what happens. Maybe a safety car or something can give us a bit of luck in this one and uh, get us into the race. And we're going to rejoin right with the leading traffic here, so this could be interesting as Albon shoves one up the inside of Lewis on cold tyres. I've got no DRS to be fair, so uh, these two are going to juke it out. Let's stay aware, stay ready. Could be an opportunity for us to pass Albon here, who is ultimately who we're looking to pass. Hamilton. Oh, I had to just get right out of it there. We're snapping lurking. Albon stays in front. Ooh. 
big old snap there. Important to not lose DRS on Hamilton, so we'll just burn the battery up a little bit. The snap and also closing. We've got DRS now, so we can let the snap and go and crack on. Go on, Max, do your thing. I'll actually keep my DRS shot to let the snap and go through. More cars leaving the pit exit as the snap and loses the back end. That's not ideal. Again, rejoining right in the thick of it. And the two Red Bulls come together. We're going to go through as they're all on cold tyres. Red Bull versus Red Bull, Alpine versus Alpine here. Uh oh. Latifi with a dive bomb. Thought I heard a wall tap, but I could be wrong. Right, we're going to pit. Got no pace now compared to these guys, and also the tire wear icon has just flashed up, which means our tires are at least 60 on one of them, which is the case for the right rear. Also, a car ahead pitting. Hamilton's in, so that's possible damages. Right, we're going to box, and we're going to the hard tire. So we'll have a slightly fresher tire compared to others, and we'll see if that gives us an edge. Yellow flag, actually. 2.3 could stop, gets us ahead of Lewis. Still behind all the traffic we was behind before. Look after these tyres now, and we'll finish the race on this compound. Lando's in the pits as well. Caution, caution. So damage is for Lando, and one of the Alpines slowing down. You see we lost quite a bit to Bottas, that overcut didn't really work out. I was hoping for a bit more pace to be gained, this Ocon, who's in trouble. And he's going to peel off under the escape road. Will we get a safety car or a virtual safety car? Green flag. Nope, don't think so. Looks like Ocon's got the way well there, so P17, and we've got it all to do yet again. So let's get back to work. Let's see if we've got any pace in this tire to crack on. The hard pressures should do us a good a favour now. I can see Lance had a bit of a nice clean air to be fair. I want to see how he's getting on. Okay, so Lewis could be our golden ticket here on a medium. Let's see if we can maybe latch on to him and let him drag us to the promised land. All right, here comes Lewis. Our DRS has gone offline, which really isn't ideal. But you can see the Merc isn't great in straight line speed, so Hamilton's struggling to really make a difference. I'll get out of the way, as in I won't make it hard for him, but I'm not going to drive out of my own way to let him go through, so he's going to have to commit to a move, like so. Oh, Lewis is way too fast. <laughs> going to get the battery on, but we're not fast enough to stay within his DRS, so just going to have to work. Going to have to work. For some reason, the pace doesn't seem to be there this season, unlike last year. If there was a late safety car in this race, I genuinely think we'd have a chance to actually get some points. My pace is decent, man. Honestly, decent. Hamilton through on Bottas. Stroll is currently P11 right now, so something were to happen in the top 10. Could be on for a point, at least with Lance. Hamilton battling quite heavily with Joe Grandy up ahead. We're going to maybe have a look at getting Bottas here. I'll use a bit of battery here to see if I can close in enough. I don't have a lot left, really, so I've got to try and be decisive. Here we go, closing in. Hey, I always do that, man. No tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Oh, Bottas gets DRS. That is really, really frustrating. Just ran that in a bit deep there. Not ideal, but closer than last lap, but Bottas this time is going to have DRS from his teammate. I'm going to try and see if I can close in now. The turbo charges on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. There we go. Had to move the brake bars forward. I just have no confidence with the brakes on 15 to turn one. The rear's just locked and spinning around, so let's get after Joe. 
really struggling with wheel spin now all of a sudden. Wheel spin in fifth gear there. That's just set me back enough that Joe's pulling away quite a bit. The Alfa Romeo is pretty damn slippery on the straight, man. Again, Joe just gets incredible traction out of that corner. Builds enough of a gap. I'll pass him now, though. I'll use all the battery I've got, but bloody hell, that traction's incredible, man. I won't miss that aspect of this game, you know, anymore. I can't wait for the new game. There we go, we're through. I'm sure everyone's into that me there. Thank you, mate. Right, this is probably the best we're going to get this race, unless something were to happen dramatically in the last three laps. Hmm, I'll say that. Out of the race. Okay, be aware there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. No chance of a safety car now, though. Although, does that move Stroll into the points? I'll have to check now on the radio because there was an Alpha Tari ahead of Stroll. So, Lance into the points. Happy days. So, Charles Leclerc wins. In dominant fashion, by the way. Absolutely destroyed the field. And yeah, for us, P15. Looks like Lance will score a point. Could have maybe scored two. He was battling for P9, but didn't have enough juice when it mad. But yeah, still, good fun. Albeit a, a race where we suffered. I enjoyed trying to, you know, fight back. But today just wasn't our day. So, yeah, I swear last year we had a good race. I, I might be tripping, but I swear last year we had a really good race pace and recovery, but it just wasn't to be easy this time. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So, another excellent win. Ferrari. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. And there we go then, confirmation, Lance does bag a point in P10, and to be fair, it's not a terrible day at the office, but it's not ideal. Has to score points with both cars, Schumacher, Magnussen, 7th and 8th, and also Sebastian Vettel scores points for Williams in P9. Leclerc though dominates and destroys the field, 12 points ahead of the next car, which was George Russell. Ricardo 3rd ahead of Perez, signs P5 with the fastest lap of the race, Verstappen, P6, and then like I said, our rivals of Lance running out the point scorers, Latifi P11 just outside the points, along with Sonoda, Hamilton Albon, myself, Joe Norris, Bottas, Gasly DNF, Ocon DNF. Standings after nine rounds, we're still P8. Ricardo four points behind us after that podium. Closes up pretty, pretty quickly. Schumacher also gaining a few points in P10. In the constructors though, down to six, does Haas re-overtake us for P5. So work to do and hopefully we can fire back in the next one but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's race sorry it wasn't the most incredible race i'll try my best but it just wasn't to be leave a like subscribe as always all that good stuff it really helps me out it goes a long long way leave a comment as well for the algorithm and yeah guys as always a big shout out to the members check out the two videos on screen and i'll see you in the next one until then take care and let's get back from me